Hi there, this is Coffee Code Repeat, and today I'm going to teach you how to um, solve for the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix using the recursive method for solving, um, solving a determinant. Um, so the reason you would want to do this, uh, or learn how to do it this way, recursively, is that you could use the same method to solve for any n by n um, square matrix, essentially. Um, so let's uh, dive into this problem right here. Um, so I'm going to do it by, show you by doing an example for you guys. Okay, so we have this 3x3 three three matrix. Um, so what we're going to start by doing is taking this first element in the first row here, the uh, zero, 0, element. Um, and here, sorry. We're going to take this element, put it right here, and we're going to construct a 2x2 two two matrix and solve for the determinant using all the off elements from this. So what I mean by that is we're going to um, disregard any elements in the same row or the same column as this element that I've chosen to put outside here and just take what remains. So if you take out this row and this column, all that remains is this 0, this 1, this 0, and this 4. So we're going to put it here. And so um, this is just going to be the first component of three components. Um, which will equal this determinant. So what we're going to do next is we're going to subtract um, this element right here, the second element of the first row, um, times the determinant of every element that's the off that's off from this this element right here. So since we've taken this element, this uh, this one, um, the four and the zero, and the zero and zero, the four and the zero are in the same row, and the two zeros are in the same column. So we're going to take this everything else. So this negative one this 1, this 2, and this 4. And we're going to put it here. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing for this element here. It's the next element in the row, in the top row. Um, so everything in this column and in this row are going to be disregarded, and we're going to take what remains. So that would be this negative 1, this 0, this 2 and this 0. Okay. So, oh, I forgot to. So, you're actually going to take this element and multiply it by this determinant. Okay. So, really quick, um, I subtracted here and added here uh, for a specific reason. As you're going from left to right, and you take this first element and then multiply it by the determinant of all of the off um, row and column elements here, um, the next element you take, so this 1, is going to be um, negative. So this component here is going to be negative, and then this one here is going to be positive. So these components are going to alternate in sign, um, positive, negative, positive, and then if there are more, it would be negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and continue until n. Okay, so now that we have these three components, we're going to solve for those individual determinants. And so once you have a 2 by 2 matrix here, well, this is going to go to 0, because it's 0 times whatever this determinant is. Um, and then this is the first one we're going to look at. So the determinant of any 2x2 two two matrix is going to be the um, product of this first diagonal going left to right here um, minus the product of this diagonal going back here. Um, so it's going to be negative 1. Ooh, wow. That's not what I meant to do. Um, OK, we're good. Um, so it's going to be, this is going to be negative 1 times um, and then we have uh, negative 1 times 4 minus 1 times 2. And then for here, for this component, we're going to add a 4 times the determinant of this matrix, which is negative 1 times 0, minus 0 times 2, which is going to be 0. So this is going to conveniently go to 0. And we're going to be left with the result of this component, which is negative 1 times uh, negative 1 times 4, which is negative 4, minus 2, which is negative 6. And then you're going to be left with negative 7. Oh, oops. Uh, that's a uh, multiplication. So we're going to be left with 6. And this is going to be your final determinant. 
So once again, the reason you would want to know how to use this recursive method is that it can be applied to any n by n matrix. So if I wanted to solve for the determinant of a 4 by 4 matrix, I could use this exact same recursive method, breaking the 4 by 4 matrix into 3 by 3 matrices and then into 2 by 2 matrices. Um, I'm going to post a video soon about how to use the same method on a 4 by 4 matrix, and you can see for yourself if you're still not sure. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any feedback, let me know. Just post a comment. Also, like, subscribe if you liked it and if you want me to keep making more videos. So until next time, coffee code repeat.